Hey court chasers, how are you? I hope you're fine and healthy. With that healthy vibe, we will start our video today. I am Adil Lakshman Etiketti. Welcome to our channel, Court Chasers. Hi all, we have discussed the concept of block very clearly in the earlier video. If you didn't watch it, I'll keep the link in description. Please go and check it out. Because to learn the concept of indentation, knowing concept of block is necessary okay so in this video we will see the concept of indentation in python we all know as per the block concept if we start a new block we start writing the code in that new block by giving four extra spaces i am assigning a value 10 to variable a okay now i am writing a simple if condition if value which is present in variable a that is a is equal to is equal to 10. If we shift to next line, PyTerm is automatically taking these four spaces that we already have discussed earlier video. Whenever we are starting a new block, that is if block here, we have to provide four spaces before starting the code in the block. Okay. I have given four spaces here. I am starting my if block. I am just printing a statement that is a value of A is 10. If at all we feel we are done with writing the code in the if block, that means if the code that we want to write in the if block is completed, we have to again shift back to four spaces to write the other part of the code. Okay, if at all we start writing from here, this statement again will be treated under if block. But we have completed writing the code that we want the Python interpreter to execute in the if block. So we have to start from the beginning. I am writing a corresponding else condition to the if condition. If the value which is stored in A is not equal to 10, Python interpreter will enter the else part of the condition. So to start the else block also, I have given four extra spaces to start the block. Okay. I will just print here the value of A is not 10. Okay. This is a simple program to validate the value which is present in variable a okay the main concept here is the four extra spaces that we have given to start a new block whether it may be a if block or else block these four extra spaces are considered as indentation in python with the help of these four extra spaces python interpreter will know a new block is getting started here it is if block Okay, here it is else block. What if I don't give these four extra spaces? See, PyCharm then and there itself saying indent expected. It is saying Python interpreter is expecting some indentation before starting an if block. Okay, that indentation is four spaces here. Without providing four spaces, I'll execute. Okay, Python is also saying indentation error expected and indented block that means python interpreter is expecting indentation before starting a new block python interpreter follows indentation while reading the code okay if proper indentation is not given it will throw error indentation error so it is very mandatory to follow indentation in python if at all i execute this code after following all indentations properly I'll get the required output. Here, we are using four white spaces to start a new block. Okay. That is, we are considering white spaces here as an indentation. So, can I say that white space is an indentation in Python? Yes, I can say that. I can consider white space as an indentation in Python. So, what I want to say is, to start a new block in Python, we have to start the code in the block with four extra spaces that is indentation to frame it more technically to start a new block we have to follow indentation in python so i can conclude that indentation is very much important in python okay and i can also strongly say a point that no matter how much logic we know we need the output to be generated as per our requirement right for the output to be generated as per our requirement First of all, the code has to be executed without errors, right? For the code to be executed without any error, we have to write the code 
following indentation. I hope you understood the concept of indentation clearly. And I hope you will not commit any indentation mistakes while writing the code. One quick and important information. There are three courses running parallelly in our channel. Course 1 Python full course. Course 2 PySpark with Hadoop full course. These two courses are designed for beginners and they are designed in such a way that a person who doesn't have any knowledge in any coding language can also easily understand the content in this course. So please do follow if you are interested. And the third course is Python interview preparation. This course is designed for those people who are preparing for Python based interviews. In this course, most frequently asked Python interview questions were taken and they have been answered with live coding sessions for each and every questions if needed. So if you like my work, please do subscribe to our channel and like the video and click on the bell icon to get notified about the updates of our channel. Thank you so much.